Okay, in this section of math, we're going to be looking at order of operations with fractions. And um, so, when we're doing fractions and we're multiplying and dividing and just a big long question, make sure you have lots of paper to work with. And the first thing, I guess when we're, when we're doing order of operations with fractions, you can always think in terms of um, uh, we can keep in mind bed mass All right, and for purposes of this actually I am going to make the E lowercase because we're not dealing with exponents so we won't worry about that but we're going to look at um, doing any work in brackets first followed by division and multiplication second and it doesn't matter what order these are in, it's just working from left to right, doesn't matter, and then sub addition and subtraction third. And again, it doesn't matter what order they're in, it's just you're reading it like a book from left to right. All right? So we're going to do this question. 3 fourths minus 2 thirds divided by 4 fifths times in brackets 1 eighth plus 1 fourth. And the secret to uh, order of operations, secret to anything like this, is we're just going to work in a downward direction, okay? And anything we're not using at the moment, we're going to just bring down and write it out. And that's why you need lots of paper for this. So the first thing we're going to look at in this question is we're going to do the work in brackets first, which is 1 8 plus 1 4. All right? Now we can't add those two together until we have common denominators, so the first thing we do is get a common denominator. And so a denominator between 8 and 4 that's common is 8, and we can get 8 by multiplying 4 times 2, and so whatever we do to the bottom, we have to do to the top. So now our new question, and this is where you want to just stay organized, we have 3 fourths minus 2 thirds divided by 4 fifths times in brackets 1 8 plus 2 eighths. Okay, I know it seems like a lot of work, but at least it's organized and if you make a mistake you can see where you've made a mistake. So now we just bring all this stuff down again. 3 fourths minus 2 thirds divided by 4 fifths times and now we know this, we can get rid of the brackets, we have 2 or 1 eighth plus 2 eighths equals 3 eighths. All right, now we're not going to do 3 fourths minus 2 thirds, so we'll bring 3 fourths down. We'll bring this minus sign down, but we have 2 thirds divided by 4 fifths. So we're going to bring 2 thirds, and uh, we're going to keep in mind here the KFC principle for division, right? K stands for keep. We'll keep two thirds. Um, flip stands for we'll flip four fifths, and we'll make it five fourths. And the C stands for change. We'll change it to multiplication. So two thirds times five fourths, and then we'll just bring down times three eighths. Okay. So we're going to do the multiplication next, right here. Okay and it's order from left to right so I'm not going to do 5 fourths times 3 eighths yet I'm just doing this first one and I'm going to reduce this before I do this I can divide by 2 here and divide by 2 here which is going to give me 3 fourths minus 1 third times 5 over 2 times 3 eighths I'm just keeping working down 3 fourths minus now 1 times 5. Remember, you multiply numerator times numerator. So 1 times 5 is 5. And then denominator times denominator. 3 times 2 is 6. Times 3 eighths. So now I'm working on this one. And again, I can simplify this by dividing this by 3 and over here by 3 because I can go crosswise here. All right? there's no common number that goes into 5 or an 8 so I'll rewrite this question again now as going 3 fourths 
minus 5 over 2 times 1 over 8. And I'll write my answers down here. 3 fourths minus, well, 5 times 1 is 5, and 2 times 8 is 16. All right, now I'm on the final step here. I have to get common denominator again. So the common denominator between 4 and 16 is 16. 4 times 4 is 16. And therefore, whatever I do to the bottom, I have to do to the top to just get an equivalent fraction. So 3 fourths, an equivalent fraction with a denominator of 16 is 12 sixteenths minus 5 sixteenths. Finally, I'm at my last step. And I can go 12 minus 5 is 7 sixteenths. And that is your answer. So it is a long process, but if you just make sure you space things out evenly and work down, then you'll get to the right answer. All right? So that's the type of work you're going to be doing today.